Today we're back talking about voiceover and a couple of three finger taps that you can use to make using voiceover a little more uh, something. <laughs> What's up VIPs, Derek here back with another video and it's another edition of our VoiceOver 101 series. And today I've got a couple of things that you can use with three fingers. Now, we've talked about it before with lots of different gestures, but today I want to talk about a couple of specific ones using three fingers and how it can actually have to do with people around you. By the way, if you're new here, my name is Derek and I help people just like you to discover life after sight loss. Here we do product reviews, life advice, encouragement, how-tos, and so much more. So consider subscribing and turning on notifications so that you don't miss another single video. Now, like I said, voiceover is great, and there are a couple of three-finger taps we're gonna use today. One of them will turn the speech off in case you're watching a video or something like that and you don't want the speech talking. And one of them will turn on something called the screen curtain, and it totally makes the screen black and doesn't let anybody see what you're doing. So maybe you're using a set of headphones to hear voiceover and you don't want people looking over your shoulder, you can totally turn the screen curtain off and it's like, wow, they can't see what you're doing and it's kind of nice to be a little incognito. So we're gonna take my iPad, we're gonna jump in here and we're gonna see how to use these different gestures, what they do and sort of a real world example. So come on, let's jump on into it. PM. It's time to get in there. All right, here we are with my iPad, and basically we're gonna do three fingers, and we're gonna tap on the screen. Now, I typically like to have my fingers separated so I can tap a little more evenly. I find that when they're together, that middle finger sticks out, so I pull them apart, and that middle finger naturally goes down. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to three finger double tap, all right? So here we go. Speech off. Speech off. Now, this is nice. Now look, the voiceover technically, you hear that noise, it's still on in the background, sort of running, but the speech won't be on. So if you're doing something like recording a message or you're watching a video where you don't want the sound to be on or music or something, you can turn the speech off, but you don't have to turn voiceover off all the way, which can come in handy if you need to use it, you know, in a quicker way. So let's go ahead and turn the speech back on. Speech on. Again, that's a two finger, excuse me, three finger double tap. Okay, one more time. Speech off. Speech on. All right, so three finger double tap, speech turns on and off. Another good one is a three finger triple tap. Okay, here we go, let's triple tap. Screen curtain on. Boom, screen curtain is on. Now, you'll notice there's nothing on the screen. It kind of looks, now it doesn't look completely like it's off. There is kind of a, it's not exactly black, it's kind of more gray, but it's really, really dark. Now, but if you'll notice, Google Cal photos, Google Cal messages. VoiceOver still running behind that screen curtain. So if you have a set of headphones in or AirPods or earbuds or something, then you can still use it, but the screen is off. Many times I will do this in case somebody is looking over my shoulder or something like that, but it really throws people off when you're typing on a screen that isn't on. They're like, oh, excuse me, blind person, this isn't on. <laughs> but anyway, you can use that. So again, it's a three finger triple tap. Screen curtain off. Boom, screen curtain turns on and turns off. Okay, so three finger double tap for speech on and off. Three finger triple tap for screen curtain on and off. Now again, these aren't huge major things, but when you're using voiceover, it can really come in handy for things where you're around other people or listening to music or watching videos or something like that. All right, guys, so there you go. There is the three finger taps, the double tap for your speech on and off, and your triple tap for your screen curtain. Now, again, they can come in handy in certain situations. You may not use those all the time, but it can be very helpful. One quick note I want to mention that if you have Zoom running at the same time as a voiceover, these functions will work a little differently. Now, I use Zoom all the time with voiceover, so I have it running in the background pretty constantly because I like to turn on or turn voiceover off and then zoom in on like a picture or some text or something like that. So if you have zoom running at the same time, this will basically add an extra tap onto things because a three finger double tap is the zoom in and out. And so if you have voiceover running, that double tap, it's like, oh, what's happening? So basically you just add another tap. So if you have zoom running, it would be a triple tap for the 
um, speech on and off, and it would be a quadruple tap for your screen curtain. Now, again, if you have Zoom running, you'll probably figure that out, but I just thought I'd let you know in case you're like, why isn't this working for me? I'm just Zooming in all the time, or I can only turn the speech on and off or whatever. Well, that's the reason why. If you have Zoom running at the same time, your you know functions will be a little different. So turn Zoom off, give it a try, then turn Zoom on and see what happens when you do that. So my question for you today is this, where would a screen curtain and speech on or off really come in handy in your life? Do you find that you hate when people read over your shoulder? Do you find that watching a movie or listening to music is annoying when voiceover keeps talking? How would it come in handy in your life? I'd love to hear about it and I know others would as well. So let me know in the comments below. Hey, if you like this video, if you found it helpful, make sure to show your support by hitting that like button and sharing it out with somebody that you know. And if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so that you don't miss another single video. Thanks for watching wherever you are. And until next time, remember that sight loss isn't the end. It's just the beginning. My name is Derek Daniel from lifeaftersightloss.com and I'll see you in the next one.